has kind of messed with your preparation to get fully ready for the next opponent? Um, yeah, I mean, you sort of just got to, you know, jam pack, um, you know, installs and, and your days all like together. You got two days really, um, you know, for us really today you do, you know, your base first and second down and third down, um, put it all together, go through, you know, a couple walkthroughs and meetings and, um, and yeah, you're just trying to pack everything in within a couple of days and then being able to get your body right to, to play. Um, on Thursday, so it's different. The preparation is just, it's uh, its more intense, you know, for both teams. Um, you don't get, you know, four or five days of preparation to, you know, lengthen everything out. You have two days, put it all together and roll, so. How different is it this time for you going through it without having to deal with broken ribs? Yeah, um, a lot better, I'd say. You know, just, you know, not, obviously, yes, treat, treating my body and everything, making sure I feel fresh for Thursday. Um, but yeah, last year, the main focus was, you know, Will I be able to throw, you know, come Thursday? Um, obviously, I didn't throw a ball for, you know, four days or three days, um, whatever it was, um, up until the game game day. So now it's like, all right, now I can hone in the, the plays, the details, the operations of the offense, all that stuff, um, not worrying about the broken rib. Is there a point in that game where you ever didn't feel pain or felt comfortable, or was it just pain all the time? I would say, yeah, I, I was definitely, like, not comfortable, you know, the whole the whole – game for four quarters I felt it for sure but um, yeah we were able to pull it out so along the lines of preparation Kyle said last year he didn't have any time to treat you with kid gloves or kind of ease you into things now that you've had an off season I'll be at one marred by injury and having to deal with rehab and stuff how much more is he putting on your plate from compared to where you started um yeah I feel like you know last year we were rolling as a team you know Jimmy was doing great and um, you know he was doing what he did with Jimmy and what he's always done with Jimmy, um, just in terms of in terms of like the install, how our offense looked, um, what plays we're going to run. And so once you know I got in, it was really the same. It was like we're going to continue to roll and see you know how I do with that. And so um, moving into this year, honestly, it's been I'd, I'd say fairly similar. Um, like he knows that I can you know handle what he's had with Jimmy the last couple of years and what we did last year, nothing really changed. And so that's really how it's been this year. You know, there hasn't been a drastic change of, all right, we're going to add more to his plate since he's playing more or anything like that. It's, it's been about the same. That's how this offense has rolled and that's how we've done it. So. How were you able to just roll into it last year? What, what about your background? What about yourself personally allowed you to handle that kind of responsibility from the get go? Yeah, I feel like, I mean, the four years, obviously, I would say of playing the, you know, the the day to day, week to week basis of studying and how to prepare and all that kind of stuff. And then obviously last year, being the backup, knowing that I, I I probably only get you know one opportunity at this thing if I do get an opportunity, just with the circumstances of being drafted last and and all that kind of thing. So um, for me, it was always like you know be ready for it, and you know I studied and prepared every single week as if I was starting, and when I ended up. Going in, I was I was ready for that opportunity. So nothing has changed since. Right, on that touchdown drive just before halftime, you had that um, twenty-yard completion to Juwan over the middle. Um, he had his back to you when you let it go. You had a guy coming on a blitz. Is that uh, you talk about timing and trust in, in this offense? I assume you would have made you made similar type throws last year, but is that more comfortable now for you, or just more instinctual and natural? Um, probably, you know, a combination of both, you know, um, obviously the landmarks, the routes, the concepts, I feel like I have a better grasp of, you know, where the guys are supposed to be. Um, obviously a year under our belt of, you know, experience together, you know, with BA, Debo, Juwan, George, um, you know, sort of knowing and understanding their cuts, stuff like that. It matters. Um, but also, you know, in the heat of the moment, there's a guy coming through the B gap untouched and I have to drift a little bit and I know and trust Juwan's going to be, you know, 12 to 14 yards breaking in at this angle. Like, that's all, I feel like just, it's both. It's a combination of both to answer your question, so. Yeah, it sounds easy, like, oh, you just trust it. But I mean, as a quarterback, sometimes it's like, oh crap, you know, he, he's not looking at me, I'm throwing the ball. This could not, could obviously yeah. happen. No, yeah, it's real. <laughs> yeah, the anticipation, the trust, um, you know, that's real. It's part of this position, it's part of football. Um, you know, you can't always throw when a guy breaks and he's wide open. That's just not how the league works. You know, windows close fast and 
uh, you have to be on point. You have to anticipate, you know, guys and where they're supposed to be per coverage, per concept. Um, so that's something that you know we work on and we we take very seriously here. You know, it's part of our offense being able to throw before guys break and whatnot. So. Was a coaching point made of, of that when the when clock down to one second that maybe you should have thrown the ball lower or faster into the ground there, rather than just loft it. Um, I mean, yeah, Kyle had told me, you know, before, like, hey, it's it's touchdown or throw it away. You know, um, you know, we want to have some time on the clock to be at least think about going for it on the one again or kick a field goal and get some points. Um, that was what was said to me in the moment. It's, you know, um, I was going to the flat, wasn't there, and I was like, maybe I should run. But in my head, I was like, nah, I got to get this ball out. So could I have done it quicker? For sure. Um, but I understood, you know, how much time we had on the clock and, we were good enough to have one more play in us. Brock, can you describe the energy and juice you get, even if your body maybe isn't physically there, that, that you can use to your advantage on a Thursday night on a short week? Yeah. Um, you know, obviously, I feel like as a quarterback, whether you're hurt or not, like you just got to go in and do your job. You got to do your part for the offense. You know, you get the ball every snap. You know, you got to either make sure you're in the right play, hit the guys that are open. But um, at the end of the day, it's like, man, how can you create momentum and juice for your team to to get first downs, to get points up on the board, and, and to create momentum for your whole team as a whole? Defense to get some stops. You know, let's go get some points on the board and, and then win. You know, so um, whether you're hurt or not, I feel like there's always a way to create some momentum and juice for your team. And last year, I feel like when we played Seattle, you know, I, I was – I, I was able to learn that that lesson pretty quick, you know, just in terms of, you know, I wasn't feeling great, but had to do what it takes to win, especially late in the season. And every game is crucial for us. So, as far as, as some of those, you know, deep throws you missed that you obviously want back, how do you sort of, you know, assess and self correct without being, you know, hypercritical of yourself and, and keeping your confidence? Yeah. Um, obviously, the, as a quarterback, you want to play perfect. Is that, you know, um, you know, a real thing. Like, can you play perfect? I don't know. You know, you're going to mess up, obviously. But um, for myself, it's like, man, I hold myself to a standard. This whole offense, this team holds ourselves to a certain standard. And, and so for me, it's like, man, I got to watch that, the film, learn from it, um, get out of practice and rep it, you know, rep it, rep it to, you know, build that confidence again that, hey, we can hit those, those shots and those opportunities. We've done it in the past. And it's something that you know you learn from, um, but not dwell on, and I let it affect your game moving forward. So that's where I'm at with that, and I'm excited to get going for Thursday. All right. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks, Jeff.